Today we continue our discussion of GCMs, Global Climate Models. The core equations that we introduced in the previous video segment are fun. <laughs> Perhaps there are one or two of you. But they are not sufficient for predicting Earth's climate without additional information. This video segment explores the additional information that these computer models require as input. This information includes estimates of changes in the strength of forcing factors that influence climate. The major points of this segment are, number one, global climate models depend on estimates of future human greenhouse gas emissions. Number two, estimates of human greenhouse gas emissions vary with demographic, social, economic, technological, and environmental factors. Number three, the major greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone, and chlorinated fluorohydrocarbons derived from natural and man-made sources. As presented in previous segments, climate forcing factors are environmental parameters that influence Earth's climate. External forcing factors run the gamut in terms of predictability. The orbital variations of obliquity, eccentricity, and precession follow patterns set by the law of gravity, and therefore should continue indefinitely. Sunspot numbers oscillate with a 11-year period. In contrast, external factors such as comets crashing into Earth and supernovas collapsing somewhere in the cosmic neighborhood seem to be random occurrences and therefore difficult to incorporate into global climate models. Internal forcing factors also run the gamut. Albedo, the internal factor that literally reflects the properties of Earth's surface, declines as global warming melts snow and ice packs and raises sea levels. Global climate models attempt to approximate the interactions between albedo and these changes. On the other hand, future encounters with fire and brimstone, that being factors involving plate tectonics and volcanism, are always in the realm of possibilities, but highly uncertain. Greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere, another internal forcing factor, also proves difficult to predict because a substantial portion of the emissions of these gases depends on human activities, and human behavior can be erratic. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, an organization established by the United Nations Environmental Program and the World Meteorological Organization in 1988, developed 40 scenarios about future concentrations of greenhouse gases. These scenarios fall into four different narrative stories about possible demographic, social, economic, technological, and environmental circumstances that will drive greenhouse gas emissions. One storyline, named A1, assumes slowing human population growth, but rapid economic development based on fossil fuels, A1FI, alternative fuels, A1T, or a mix of both, A1B. Another storyline, named A2, emphasizes a regional autonomy with sustained human population growth, fragmented economic development, and slow technological adoption. A third storyline, named B1, assumes a worldwide shift to a service and information economy with large-scale adoption of clean and resource-efficient technologies. A fourth storyline, named B2, focuses on local solutions to economic, social, and environmental sustainability with intermediate economic growth and diverse technological change. All of these scenarios build upon an understanding of sources and sinks for greenhouse gases. Each of these emission scenarios is equally likely. They serve as if-then statements. If human activity follows scenario W, then a GCM predicts that the amount of greenhouse gas emissions will be X, atmospheric concentrations of the greenhouse gases will be Y, and the climate will be Z in terms of temperature, precipitation, storms, etc.